And we're back with Conversations Live. And our conversation with actor Gavin Houston, many of you have gotten to know him as the, the character Jeffrey on the hit mm-hmm. show on the Oprah Winfrey Network, The Haves and the Have Not. But, Gavin, I want to talk about Jeffrey. What has it been like for you to kind of bring this complicated character to life? Because, again, people would look at him on the outside and think, as we were talking about at the beginning of the conversation, you know, he has, you know, a stable life, he has family. He has, you know, mm-hmm. m- money is definitely not a problem. What has it been like for you to bring the layers of him to life? Mm. You know, I, I, I think one of the main things that I had to keep doing is is, uh, is keep making discoveries about this, this character and, and, and having him just kind of unravel as it comes along. I mean, like you said, I mean, having all that, uh, of, you know, family that's, that's well off and uh, parents that are well off, I mean, comes a lot of pressure. And I think um, a lot of people can identify with this, just the pressures that parents can put on you. Um, And I think so many things in who we are can be related back to what we got in our childhood growing up. And sometimes you feel like, I mean, I know I experienced that even in being an actor because, you know, I mean, my parents were definitely pushing more, like, go get an education, get a job, and, you know. But so I had to really prove myself and, and kind of allow them to may, thankfully embrace it. But not everybody has that, where they, they're living this life within a life, and they're truly not happy. And they truly actually don't feel love. So in terms of, um, so I looked at this character and just try to really just identify with the soul of this character and the fact that this guy it, it needs love. He doesn't feel it because he's so disconnected from his parents. And, um, you know, and no one knows, is, it, is he just infatuated with Wyatt? Is he, is he gay? Is, is it just something with Wyatt? And maybe he doesn't even know that yet. So there's so many things, and, I, and by, of course, the end of the season, we'll probably have an answer to that. Um, but there's so many different things and layers to play right there. And why does he have this affinity towards, towards Wyatt is because Wyatt gives him what his parents don't. They listen to him. They don't. Judge, they, they, he, he doesn't judge him. He, he kind of gives him that love that his parents don't give him because they just expect him to just go through the routine and, and become what they want him to become. So, um, you know, I, for me, one of the first things to do is I love playing someone who's completely different uh, from myself, but I also like bringing things from myself into it that I, that I can. And um, I, I just love the fact of having this responsibility, because I think it's a huge responsibility, um, as well as in the time that we're at right now with a lot of with gay athletes coming out and, you, you know, with gay marriage and all these issues, just promoting acceptance. And um, I think one of the biggest things is, is acceptance from your own parents, you know. So yeah. we'll see how this thing works out, but I definitely think that with what's going on already, there is a bubble that is forming and because he's already tried to subtly tell his mother and subtly try to, and it's already been shot down and said, this is who you are and this is who you're going to be, period. Yeah. So that bubble is getting filled, and at some point it's going to burst. And sometimes the extremes that people will go through just to find mm-hmm. love, that's, that's what makes for a great story. And, and that's what we're going to see with this character as it, as it slowly starts to unravel. Um, what he's going to do and and how it ends is just it's just amazing. I I, I think the season finale is just going to blow people away. You know, it, 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 what you said reminds me of a conversation we actually had uh, with the individual who plays Benny, uh, Tyler Lepley. Mm-hmm. When and because I think you had a moment last week on the show that I talked to Benny about, and that was with of course with Tika uh, mm-hmm. Candace uh, about Tika. how. How she is able, yes, yeah, she is able to bring out the truth to people in a way that you know you wouldn't expect it from her because she seems so evil. She had a very truthful moment with you when she, you know, was copping the feel on, on your character in the in last week's episode, mm-hmm. and she was talking about the importance of of just being true, being true to yourself. Do you think that is is again one of those messages that resonates? And you were just saying that about no matter who you are, the, the importance of being able to walk in your own truth, how that is liberating, regardless of how much money you have or what you have. She's fantastic. I mean, she's such a talented actress to also be given. She's holding everything together, and she sees through people. She is that straight line where all of us are kind of looping around and, and, and kind of putting on this little uh, facade of who we want everybody else to think we are. 
you know, whether why it's trying to make his family think that he's this and he's this changed guy and he doesn't have any more problems with it. I'm trying to make my family think that I'm I'm perfect and I'm I'm carrying out everything they want me to do. But she is the truth. Like, she is that person. Like, if you want to jump in the screen and say something, that's the voice who does it and calls people out on, on what's real. And um, she sees through everything. She is blunt, she is honest, and she is fearless. And um, so her character kind of holds everybody in check because there's no fear. And um, and so everybody is, is trying to dance around. And the scene that she had with myself, um, I think that was huge. I think that was huge for my for my character. Um, because he, I feel like he thought he's doing a good job of, of playing this role and being who he thinks he should be instead of being who he truly is. And I think she sees through that. She sees through that, and, and he's just in denial about a lot of things. And um, so it was just interesting to, to have her character, who I think is perfect, just bring that to the surface. She is the truth there. She is the elephant in the room that will tell you about yourself. And, um, and yeah, I, I think, I think that, that scene was, again, it's all a bubble, and it's just keep con- continually getting filled from this angle, from this person, from that person. And um, I think he's just... Er- and it's so funny because a lot of the viewers have been writing in, oh, I feel so sad for Jeff, and I feel bad. This person's doing this for him, and that person's doing this for him. And um, But I, I definitely think that he's, he's taking it all in right now. He's taking, and for every action, there is a reaction. And uh, it's coming. 